Dear students, in this session, we are going to discuss about one of the important cell division takes place in somatic cells that is called mitosis. Yes, mitosis is also called equational cell division. Equational cell division. So, because of the both parental and daughter cells have same number of chromosomes after division. That's why it's called equational cell division. Yes, dear students, we know about mitosis takes place in somatic cells. And the mitosis is divided into two phases. One is interphase and M phase. M phase, which means mitotic phase. Yes, in interface, yes, we can absorb the uh, picture of interface in right side. Yes, it's showing oval cell with a prominent nucleus and undifferentiated chromosomes. Yes, we can observe inside the cell presence of undifferentiated chromosomes. At this stage, the cell prefers itself for division. This is all about interface. Yes, in interface, we can observe oval shape with prominent nucleus and undifferentiated chromosomes. Undifferentiated chromosomes. In this stage, the cell refers itself for division is yes, this are all about interface yes the next one is mitotic phase yes the mitotic phase include karyokinesis karyokinesis and cytokinesis cytokinesis yes karyokinesis which means a division of nucleus a division of nucleus yes division of nucleus cytokinesis which means a division of cytoplasm division of cytoplasm yes Yes. Karyokinesis, which means the division of nucleus, cytokinesis, which means the division of cytoplasm. The karyokinesis is followed by four stages, ages, or four phases. One is prophase, phase means stage. So the second one is metaphase, and the third one is anaphase. The fourth one is telophase. See, these are all the phases in karyokinesis. In cytokinesis, after telophase, division of cytoplasm takes place in cells. Yes, let's study the karyokinesis stages. Yes, the first one is prophase. It's the first phase of mitosis. Prophase is the first phase of mitosis. Yes, see here the chromosomes are condensed. Chromosomes are condensed. And splitting of centrioles takes place splitting of centrioles yes splitting of centrioles and nuclear components are get degenerated nuclear components get degenerated yes here the state showing the chromosomes are get condensed and 
splitting of centrioles takes place and the nuclear components gets regenerated. This is all about prophase. The second phase is metaphase, stage of mitosis. Yes, here the condenser chromosomes are arranged in equatorial plate. Yes, the condenser chromosomes. Condenser chromosomes arranged at equatorial plate. Equatorial plate. And the centromeres are attached to spindle fibers. Yes, we can observe the chromosomes centromeres are getting attached to spindle fibers. Centromeres attached to spindle fibers. Spindle fibers. Yes, this is all about metaphase. Yes, the next one is anaphase. Yes, in this phase, the chromosomes are splitted and move towards opposite poles, which means here the centromere, the centromere splitted, splitted, which means the chromosomes centromere are splitted and shortening of spindle fibers, shortening of spindle fibers spindle fibers and the chromosomes are more towards opposite folds. Yes, like this. Yes, in the right side we can observe the picture of anaphase. Yes, in this phase the centromeres are splitted and shortening of spindle fibers and the chromosomes are more towards opposite folds. We can observe in the picture, yes, after centromere splitting, the spindle fibers become shortening and the chromosomes are moved towards opposite folds. This is all about anaphase. Yes, in anaphase, centromere are splitted and shortening of spindle fibers and the chromosomes, chromosomes move towards opposite folds, move towards opposite folds. Telophase is the last phase of a mitosis. As we can observe in the right side, the presence of telophase fixture. Yes, it's showing reappearance of nuclear component. Reappearance of appearance of nuclear component, a nuclear membrane, and. The chromosomes undergoes decondensation, which means decondensation of chromosomes. Again, the chromosomes are unkyling. Decondensation. Decondensation of chromosomes. Yes, it's all about telophase. Yes, in telophase, reappearance of a nuclear component and the chromosomes get unkyled, which means decondensation of chromosomes. So this is all about karyokinesis. The karyokinesis is followed by prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. The next one is cytokinesis. See after telophase, after telophase, the cell shows cytokinesis which means division of cytoplasm, division of cytoplasm. Yes, in right side we can also uh, telophase. After telophase is followed by cytokinesis, which means division of cytoplasm. The result of cytokinesis gives two daughter cells. These two daughter cells have equal number of chromosomes. That's why the mitosis is called equational cell division. And 
in case of plants, in mitosis, in case of plant, in cytokinesis, cell plate is formed between two cells. Cell plate is formed between two cells. In case of animals, in case of animals, furrows are formed. Finally, it leads to formation of two daughter cells. Yes, these students, in this session, we had discussed about equational cell division. That is called mitosis. The mitosis is divided into interphase and M phase. And again, the M phase is divided into karyokinesis and cytokinesis. The karyokinesis followed by prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The finally, after telophase, cytokinesis, the result of cytokinesis gave two daughter cells. So this is called mitosis. Thank you.